dude, I was 2,500 before we start breaking the tires loose. In today's video, guys, we're gonna be taking that low stall stock converter out and we're gonna be installing a high stall eBay converter, which is sitting right here in the box. So the first thing we're gonna have to do, disconnect the battery, and we're gonna have to start pulling that trans out. But Whitey is a twin turbo 5.2 liter Magnum V8, guys. You saw him drag racing. Uh, his 60 foot was absolutely trash at 2.5 seconds. Uh, we want to get that into the low ones. So the first thing we're going to start by doing is get a higher stall converter. So instead of the launching at 1600 RPMs, we're going to be launching at 2850 RPMs, hopefully. That is what this eBay one is listed at. So we got the truck up on the hoist. We got drive shafts out. The rear drive shaft sitting over there. Fluffy's here, of course. Hi. Uh, we got electrical undone. We got shift linkages undone. We will be pulling it out with the transfer case right now. I am working on actually getting the torque converter bolts out, which are chilling right there. There's four of them. We're going to get those out. Ta-da! After going deaf, you can get your cross wheel broke. But we will have to spread the frame to get that back in if you're wondering. Oof. If you notice the frame went like this. It, it did pinch in. <laughs> that was designed by Chrysler for a solid frame. Ah. The more you know. The more I'm deaf. Oh yeah. Yeah, that was a little deafening. Louder, okay. We gotta get, we ran the old fuel line through the exhaust hanger, so we gotta kinda remove that before we remove the tranny. Probably a good idea. They're freaking 16. Hold please. This is the only thing that sucks about 90s Dodges, is everything's half of it's metric and half of it's standard. <laughs> Oh, use your metric socket, then use your standard. They want to keep you on your toes. They want you to buy more tools. <laughs> True that. It's not more power, it's more tools. <laughs> <laughs> more power, more money. That evil energy fuel line is strong enough to hold that bracket. Oh yeah. Because you don't need evil energy. Best AN lines out there. Top tier, baby! Uh, yeah, I think we're ready to lower it down a bit. Sweet! And we have contact! Yay! Free. So Eric, what do, what do you want to tell everyone? What did you do? Uh, you know Whitey, uh, the outside rust? Well, yeah, it's all underneath too, because uh, the, the old tranny line, we have that Bluetooth connection. <laughs> Look at that, Bluetooth tranny lines. So I think we're going to do some evil energy AN lines. Ooh! Back this one don't look as bad. You say that now. This one, oh yeah, I broke it. <laughs> Oh yeah, we're gonna have a Bluetooth connection here. All right. Really Bluetooth tranny lines, all right, cool, cool. We are uh, two for transmission and zero for Eric so far. <laughs> we also have a broken front uh, bolt on the trans there. And we need some new U-joints, so our little torque converter process has turned into a lot more than just the torque converter. See, I didn't want to put U-joints in the Drive shaft because I know the drive shaft's gonna blow out eventually because they aren't designed for like 800 horsepower. True that. But this one barely moves, and this one 
No, wait, now this one barely moves. It's very uh, tight. This one does not move. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow, that's a that's as slow as a training jack goes. Wow. <laughs> it's not very low. So you guys saw us drop the trans out. It is chilling right here. You also saw us break the transmission lines off, which are right there, snapped off on the trans because it was so rusty. So we are using some Evil Energy uh, AN adapters. So we got a quarter MPT on this end to 6AN. Uh, evil energy adapter right there. Then we got some evil energy and lines to run it from our trans to our trans cooler Which is chilling right there. The other thing we're doing too is we're replacing some u-joints because these back u-joints were pretty uh, crusty Dirty you probably clean them re-grease them put them back in, but They're cheap enough. We're just gonna replace them. So we got a set of u-joints to go into all the drive shafts which hopefully we don't put them in and it snaps the drive shaft because we will be going to the dyno July 23rd to see what this baby makes on 93 octane and 14 pounds of boost and then we will be working on the E85 tune on it too to see what kind of power that makes as well. We got some new U-joints put in the front and rear drive shaft so now we're actually gonna be swapping out the converters. So we're gonna take this crap stock stall converter we're gonna be slapping in this high stall one. So with our brand new converter we're gonna give this a little bit of a drink with some ATF plus four. While well, we spin it, just to get that clutch turbine propeller and stator a little wet before we dry start it in the truck. While it's spinning, you always can top it off a little bit too. Now that we got that new converter filled, we're gonna get our old converter out, just as easy as pulling it out. Just make sure something's underneath it to catch the fluid. We grabbed our new converter, we're gonna slap this puppy in there. So we got the transmission all back in the truck. Everything's pretty much good to go. Just keep slapping it back together. So right now we're working on the torque converter bolts, which are right there. We're gonna put a little blue Loctite on them and we are gonna snug them all the way down. And we're just gonna keep grinding, get everything put together. The only thing we're not gonna do is put the front drive shaft in yet because we're gonna run those AN lines because the fittings are right here and it's a lot easier to access with the drive shaft down. So we're gonna get that done before we put drive shaft in. But we do have to get the old lines out and everything else. So we're gonna keep banging this out, guys, and keep working on Whitey, the twin turbo beast. We got all the torque converter bolts put back in. We got everything put back in, so we're ready to put that transmission cross member back in. And if you guys remember, we had to hammer that baby out of there. So in order to get that back in very easily, we got this special tool right here. And this is a porta power, and we're actually gonna use this, set it up to spread the frame rails out so we can fit that transmission cross member in there. All right, let's try that. We got the trans in, we got the rear drive shaft in, the rear U-joints and the front U-joint that I ordered are wrong, but we made it work in the rear. We will be going back and replacing it. But I wanna see what the stall does today and we are running out of time. Um, we got the AN lines installed, the beautiful Evil Energy AN lines as you guys can see right there and right there. Uh, we do have a broken bolt right there that we need to extract, so we have the Bluetooth front drive shaft at the moment. So we're gonna lower this beast down Put some fluid in him and check out this stall, rev him up, see where he's stalling at now and show you guys if he is stalling higher so we can have beautiful 60 foots and go super fast with Whitey, 
The other thing too is we're going to be re-gearing the truck. So right now it has 355s. We will be going over to a 392 gear set. Uh, we will be getting a beautiful front locker for it too. So it will be a true 4x4 truck with that welded rear diff. 392 gears, a locker in the front. We'll be ready to go. So I need you guys to comment down below what you think Whitey's 60 foot will be now with the lower gear set and the higher stall converter. We ran a 2.5 60 foot at the drag strip last time. I think it's going to be a whole lot better. Comment down below what you guys think the 60 foot will be. And when I post that video of next time we go drag racing, whoever is the closest in the comments down below to the hundredth. So you got so 2.00 or whatever to the hundredths will win a new Racing Ram Fam t-shirt and some stickers. So comment down below guys. Let me know what you think his 60 foot's gonna be. Closest person to what his 60 foot will actually be. The first pass we go drag racing, we'll win a t-shirt. If we stumble off the line and get a terrible 60 foot and someone guesses a high number, you're gonna win too. So it's definitely a gambling game, but the winner will win a couple t-shirts and some stickers. All right, we got some ATF in them. The battery's hooked up, so we're ready to fire them up. Pop him in neutral, check the fluids out, and see what he stalls at. I'm excited. eBay high stall converter. Let's see what it does. Pop him in neutral here. He feels way peppier. He doesn't start moving until 2,000 RPMs. Oh yeah. The other thing I noticed too is when you put it in drive, oh, he still moves forward pretty good. But before on that stock converter, uh, we had it idling at 1,000 RPMs because of the big cam. It kind of lopes pretty hard if we under idle it and we'll idle and drive or reverse so it's idling at 1000 rpms uh, but the stock converter when you put it in drive you literally like it would like you let go of the, which it does right now you let go of the brake it moves forward but it was like it was aggressive when you let go of that brake it was like you're going like you could idle at like 10 miles per hour with that stock converter uh, right now it's launching like 2000 rpms so if we hold the brake See, that was 2,500 before we started breaking the tires loose, which I don't want to do a burnout in my driveway. <laughs> yeah, low. So in neutral, we have it down to 650, so you can hear it. Low. But in drive and reverse, it's at 1,000, because that's what I got tuned in for. But we are not going to be taking Whitey on a test drive because he is leaking coolant like crazy. Uh, we did start doing weight reduction if you guys saw the bumper and trailer hitches off of the truck. So his booty end looking a little different. He don't got a roll pan. Um, he's just going to be like that because why would we put a roll pan on this crusty ass bed? So that's how he's going to be. We got an awesome video coming next week fixing the coolant leak with an awesome huge aluminum radiator drop in bolts in into this truck it also comes with some two cooling fans so make sure to check that out next week but guys thank you for watching what is a twin turbo beast as always if you guys want to see more videos of this build the link will be right here but we'll see you guys next time Peace.